welcome to Collective Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at the Star Wars Black series Captain Cassian Endor from Yardu. So, uh, let's just get into it. So, first impressions, this is actually a really nice figure, all things considered. Obviously, it's one of the earlier figures in the Black series line, or I guess the rebooted line. Um, so, it's not exactly great when it comes to the actual like face and stuff like that. But generally, it does look like Cassian, which, you know, is all you can really ask for, and it does, after all, fit in with the rest of the Rogue One line, which I've slowly been collecting, that's why I'm just getting to Cassian now. Um, but yeah, generally, it's a pretty nice figure. It's definitely got vibes of Hoff Han from Episode 5, and, you know, I feel like that was a purposeful thing. I don't exactly remember this specific outfit from the movie, which is really weird for me to say, but it just, looking at this, I see Cassian, definitely, I just don't see an outfit that I recognise from the film, and that's not to say it doesn't exist, it probably does, I'm probably just misremembering, but yeah, it's still a good figure overall, and the design, as I say, somewhat <laughs> because of the uh, film, it looked great, it's got the nice uh, details on the arms, there's a lot of finer details, uh, the buckles on the feet, the holster, the... I want to say they're explosives, but I don't know, whatever's on his belt. Um, generally, the face isn't terrible. I'm going to struggle to show this with my lighting, but um, it's it's definitely recognisable. I wouldn't exactly say it's perfect by any means, but uh, it's definitely usable as Cassian, and as I say, it fits with the rest of the Rogue One line. Uh, when it comes to articulation, which uh, luckily with Black Series they have more consistent articulation than DC figures, um, we've got full double knee, gets pretty close to uh, full rotation. It's, it's real good, it's real good for making running. I know I'm starting backwards really because I should be starting with the top, but uh, yeah. When it comes to ankle, like most, it's a uh, four facing pin for Rocco. You've got a uh, nice. Oh, actually that goes further than I thought it did. Um, Nice rotation. It's not even too special, but it's Black Series, so what do you expect? Um, I believe there is... Maybe not. Okay. I thought I was going to say there's a ro rotation at the hip, but they're not hip. The Yeah, hip. But there isn't. I thought it was just held back by the uh, holster, but it does seem... There's definitely a seam line there. Ah, yeah, you know, it is there. I can't move on that leg because of the holster, but uh, that leg is there, so that's full rotation there. Uh, the waist... Um, good rotation, full rotation. When it comes to crunch, this is not going to be great, is it? No crunch at all. No movement, really, forward or back. There's a tiniest bit. You could definitely get a bit out of it, but not really much. Um, single elbow, 90 degrees. It's reasonable. Uh, full rotation of the hand, and on the right, there is, there is a gun-wielding... Uh, up down hinge, but it's kind of held back by the uh, sleeve. By the like, I guess it's part of the glove technically, but it does prevent you from doing too much movement. There is a bit there though, so it's fine. Uh, with the other hand, it is in and out, so that's definitely more of a holding accessory sort of hand, which we'll get to in a second. I just knocked out the uh, base. Um, when it comes to the head, it's a bit held back by the helmet, which is it removable? I don't want to pull that too much, but uh, there is pretty good forward, uh, no back because of the hood. And then when it comes to, let me just straighten out his legs, um, there is basically no side to side, but I mean, that's decent. Nice amount of turn. You could probably go all the way around if it weren't for the hood, and also things like this kind of get in the way. But generally that's not terrible. But yeah, generally, it's standard early Black Series uh, fare when it comes to its articulation. Nothing wrong with that. I actually quite like the uh, standard like early Black Series stuff. So it's not really an issue for me, but uh, I can see a lot of people having an issue with it. So moving on to accessories, we get a smaller blaster, which I believe this is the one that is meant for the holster. Uh, pretty nice paint. Very small, probably going to lose that. The weapon that I much prefer is 
this Elite E11 style thing. This, however, does not have any paint to it, but uh, it's a good mould. I don't recognise it from any other. I say it looks like an E11, but it's definitely distinct from any of the other E11s, and it's also not the uh, standard like Rebel Blaster, which uh, comes with like Lando and stuff like that. Uh, it's fine. It's in this weird like metallic brown colour, which it it's different at least. And um, as I say, with a small pistol, uh, that goes in the holster. So let's just uh, check that out. Holster just a pin system like they usually are, and yeah, that fits. And uh, can it pin back over? Yeah, and that looks about right. You can probably get some. Well, maybe not. Maybe because of the arm. I don't think you can quite get a pose where you're properly pulling it out of the holster, but that's not terrible. And uh, then when it comes to the other blaster, have to do the old uh, twist and twist to actually get it in. But once it's in, I'd say that looks. I'd say that looks pretty good actually. I mean, through the camera, it's a bit murky, but um, yeah, I'd say that's actually a pretty good fit and uh, obviously has a little sidearm just in case. So uh, I, get, I guess this isn't a terrible figure, I guess it's probably best that I compare it to a few of us just to see what they're like compared to it. So here is Cassian next to the, I believe this is the Edu version of Genurso, as well as Krennic which is my personal favourite um, of the Rogue One line. I just think to say there's no photo reel it is a very good figure but um yeah, the scales are about right. I'd say Cassian may be a little bit small compared to Krennic, but I, I don't know. We never really see them stood next to each other, so it's hard to tell. And I'd say this is about perfect. Though I do believe Genesso should be actually shorter than she is in this scale. And what I find is that, compared to other figures, this is a little bit lopsided. This isn't quite right, but uh, it'll do. Now, here he is versus the uh, Solo movie Han Solo, which... He's leaning forward a little bit so he does look a bit taller. He is about the same height as uh, Cassian, which I think is about right. And then Lando, who is... and It's hard to tell. Looks a bit taller in the camera. It's a bit closer, but... Yeah, I'd say that's about right. I would say that Lando should be a little bit taller. It is what it is. I, I'm not going to complain about it. But yeah, I'd say generally, you know, Cassian fits perfectly into his own line, surprisingly enough. And for a mixed display, here he is next to um, Transformers, Wolf Cyber Siege, Soundwave, Doc 2 Series 1, uh, Captain Jack Harkness, and finally Toy Box, Stitch, and uh, Nendroid Sonic, I believe. Or a knockoff version, I don't think it's the actual Nendroid, but uh, yeah, that's a good variety of different figures. So, all, all in all, like I'm not exactly blown away with this figure, but... At the end of the day, it's another Legend... Legends? Jeez. It's not Legends. It's another Black Series figure to add to the collection. As well as another Rogue One character, which... I've been trying to get all the Rogue One characters. I will get them eventually. Um, and, yeah, it just works. It It's proportionate with everything. It works in a mixed display. I much prefer this outfit, whether it appears in the film or not, which I don't remember. I much prefer it to any other outfit that I remember him having, just for my own purposes. He does kind of fit anywhere, which is nice. Um, and otherwise, yeah, I just think it's a good figure. So, uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. Tell me what you think in the comments below, whether you have got this figure or not, uh, whether you've completed the Rogue One line. And uh, otherwise, that's it for this video. And, uh, yeah, bye.